In 1544, Portuguese sailors passed by Taiwan and called it Ilha Formosa, the beautiful island. Long before the Europeans, Japanese, or Chinese came to the island, the indigenous people have called Taiwan their home. Taiwan's government officially recognizes 16 indigenous groups, but there are many more that self-identify as separate and unique peoples. A hundred years ago, most of Taiwan's indigenous groups lived in the central mountains, on the east coast, and in the south. However, nowadays nearly half of the indigenous population lives in the urban areas of the country. Over the centuries, indigenous communities and rural areas have dwindled as many young people leave to pursue opportunities in the big cities. But in recent years, there's been a movement for people to reconnect with their indigenous roots and return to the places where their families are from. This has created an intriguing fusion of urban Taiwanese culture and rural indigenous traditions. Chen Zhiyi, a man of mixed indigenous heritage, returned to his village with his wife and children after his father's death. When he went through his father's belongings, he found traditional fishing tools, photos, and woven crafts that all illustrated his people's history. These precious pieces are now part of the Olang Museum, which features DIY classes for visitors to try making some tools themselves. Though in recent years, Taiwan has seen a growing public interest in indigenous culture, many indigenous groups say they feel overlooked and undervalued by the Taiwan government and general public. Some say when new visitors venture into their communities, they just take a few photos and leave without taking time to get a deeper understanding and appreciation for their culture. So, how can people learn more about indigenous people and their culture? One way people can make a deeper connection is by learning from indigenous people firsthand. Today, indigenous communities in Taiwan host activities and classes related to camping, cooking, music, tool making, and hunting, led by indigenous instructors. Through them, rural communities are giving non-indigenous Taiwanese a closer look at traditional indigenous culture. One of these indigenous guides is a man named Liu Zhenchang, who leads classes and explorations on his people's land. Some research suggests that Austronesian people like Liu have been living in Taiwan for over 6,000 years, so the land is closely connected with the indigenous group's development and history. Here we have Niu Shan or Cow Mountain. Liu says he's been coming up the mountain with his family ever since he was a little boy. In that time, the herd has expanded from less than 20 cattle to almost 100. Another guide, Chen Jianlong, tells visitors that he does not bring groups to Niu Shan frequently because it could disturb the cattle in their natural environment. Chen says it's important for people to live in harmony with the animals around them. Hosting classes and activities is also a way for indigenous people to provide a stable income and home for their families. Since the 1600s, many different countries have colonized Taiwan and oppressed its indigenous people. Today, most of Taiwan's indigenous people remain below the poverty line. Their household incomes are 40% lower than the national average. On top of that, these indigenous groups must also reckon with powerful and dangerous natural forces. Taiwan's east coast is home to many indigenous peoples and is usually hit the hardest by natural disasters. These include typhoons, landslides, and earthquakes that further threaten the stability of these villages. These indigenous instructors have made a long-term commitment to keep their people's vibrant history and culture alive in their communities and beyond. They say they want the people of Taiwan to know that not all great innovators live in big cities, tech parks, and laboratories. Learning from Taiwan's indigenous people makes it all very clear that these groups that have thrived throughout thousands of years continue to create new things of beauty and wonder in the world today.